Hello, Port Jervis Middle School Principal Marada here on our fourth uh, parent forum here in the month of March, the last day of March, March 31st. Um, and tonight we kind of left the topic open. Ms. Cook and I were going to go over a couple of things together and then um, open it up for some Q&A here. So if you're live, we appreciate you joining us. And if you are uh, watching this on record, we also appreciate that. One of our goals this year was to um, facilitate conversation, right? Or build relationships with parents, kind of try to improve on communication. And um, this is a pretty easy way to do it, right? It costs us all about a half hour. And, um, you know, you don't have to leave the comforts of your home. I may or may not be wearing my exercise shorts under my port uh, uh, sh uh, shirt here. So, all right. Well, here's a little update, right? There's the Washington, D.C. trip. And uh, that's coming up here next. The end of the third quarter is also coming up here next uh, right at spring break. So that'll be next week, the 8th, the Friday the 8th. So three quarters down for our eighth graders, just one more quarter of middle school, and you are on your way. Um, and that's an exciting thing. So we are urging everyone to kind of dial in here down the stretch. The warm weather, the kind of getting back outside, it's like you're getting away from school. We need you to dial in and finish the year strong. We just had our English uh, language arts state tests, and we had a tremendous uh, showing. Kids showed up. Kids did take the exam. It was only a small group that that chose to not take it. And, and again, the, that's people's choices. But thank you to the parents that did encourage their kids to take it, kind of did make them do some of the challenging things. And there's a lot of benefits there, right, for taking the, the more challenging road. So uh, we appreciate that. Uh, th there are going to be those math tests at the end of the month. We kind of have spring break in there, so it is a quick um, it is a quick April. But the math tests are at the end of the month. Again, shorter, not on your report card, not counting towards uh, any sort of placement in high school or eighth grade, uh, but just a measure for you and a measure for the school. Uh, it is important for the school to see where we are in New York State. So we do ask our Port Jervis All-Stars to put their best foot forward uh, with that. Uh, the Guys and Dolls musical is coming up. That's Ruby uh, scratching. Are you done, Ruby? Do I need to take your collar off? I'm on the meeting. All right, thank you. Um, Guys and Dolls coming up. Those kids have been busting their butts after school every day. Uh, awesome stuff. We have the National Junior Honor Society coming up. That's on a Thursday. Uh, one more round of MAPS uh, testing. And then um, uh, th we're going to have another Spirit Week here in May, uh, doing some fun activities with the kids, getting outside, doing some, some different things. And then there are a number of kind of end of the year New York State tests, Regents exams, finals, that kind of stuff. So there's the schedule. Um, and uh, hoping to have our concert outside. We're still kind of formalizing that thing, our spring concert. And then as we've talked about, the first time ever we're doing a, a, a stepping up ceremony uh, for our eighth graders. So very excited about these uh, activities. Okay. So that's first kind of what's coming up here this spring. Uh, second up, just again, a review about cell phones. Um, I'm not going to stay on this screen the whole time. You know, just just there's some absolutes in school, right, about not filming uh, other people, about, um, you know, using, touching other people's phones, texting about other people, certainly taking pictures or filming others, and um, just the appropriate use. We don't want it in their pockets, parents, in the locker or in their bag. We do not want it in their pockets. And I'm going to stop sharing for a moment and uh, – just come back to you. And parents, everybody has a little bit of a different style with their families, with their children. Um, just a couple of, of things that we've seen as best practices, different families do, different parents. Um, number one, have your kid charge their phone out of their bedroom, right? Preferably downstairs, uh, somewhere where you have access to it and they do not have access to it during the evening. Um, so many studies about REM sleep, 
um, and, and the disrupted sleep with the zzz, 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 uh, and kids just being on there late into the night. So get that phone out of their bedroom. Number two, put time limits on the usage, right? You want them off the phone? You can put the time limits on their apps, uh, overall shutting it down, only emergency calls, only they can only call you, things like that. Uh, these kids need some some barriers there, some 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 restrictions there with that. Um, have access to their apps. Have access to the things they're having on their phones. Uh, Miss Cook and I learned a lot this year about middle school kids. Um, kids, you're on here. Many of you are listening. They're exposed to a lot more very early on, much more than they should be. Um, I never liked horror movies, R-rated movies. I'm not a big fan of violence, that kind of stuff. We've read a lot of R-rated content with our middle schoolers, and uh, it is quite alarming. So parent to parent, principal to parents and kids, um, get access to that. And ask, you know, check check their text messages, check their, their, their you know, the messages that they're having, right? Uh, we act right. What, what would mom say if they saw this? What would, what would, you know, some of the stuff we're seeing is like, woof. Um, and so we do ask you to get involved with your child and the phone. Uh, it's not like that you bought them a wiffle ball set and go in the yard and let them play. There's a lot happening with these phones and uh, we need your help. Honestly, Ms. Cook and I do need your help. Uh, kids are losing their phones for 30 days. We have had parents say, you keep it for 30 days, right? But there are kids that have to turn their phone in each day that because they can't have access during the day because they're just not being appropriate. So, Ms. Cook, I don't know if you want to jump in on anything there. I certainly don't want to lecture anybody, uh, but just kind of talking to parents and, and kids about some of the stuff we're seeing. So, Ms. Cook, did you want to add anything? No, I, I, I think that you're good. Um, you know, I, I agree. It's definitely a different road to navigate. It wasn't especially I think for, for most of us at the parent end, um, it, it wasn't something that we had growing up, at least I didn't have growing up. Um, so it is different to navigate there and just being mindful of it and being aware um, and yeah. talking, to your, talking to your kids all the time about it, open conversation. Thanks, Ms. Cook. Uh, and then the last thing I have for tonight, and then we want to kind of open it up for questions and conversation, um, is just getting involved. I'm looking at the kids on the meeting here, I know you guys are involved uh, in, in the clubs and activities and sports. Um, there's so much to get involved with. Um, we're going to push out something about the honor flight next week uh, where you can go and honor veterans uh, at Stewart Airport. But whether it's a one-time event or you're on a team or activity, there's so much happening. And we just encourage you to get involved. Kids that are involved in the school do better at school. Kids that are involved in the school take ownership of the activities at school. They take ownership, um, getting involved in the National Honor Society. Um, so if you did that thing, great, right? If you if you weren't, you know, there's next year, whether it's at high school or, or in the middle school, you got to get involved. Uh, personally, as, as a parent with my children, they got to do one sport and they got to do one uh, activity. Uh, we make them do it. We let them pick. Uh, some of the teams are tryout and some of the teams are, you know, the kind of open enrollment, um, you know, a specific story. Uh, one of my kids wasn't so into the sport they were kind of going for. They, they, they were kind of complaining about the workouts and going to the workouts. And I said, listen, I'm not I'm not forcing you to go. But just so you know, if you don't make the team like you're going on, the you're going on the open team, you're going you're playing something else. It's not, oh, I didn't make the team. Now I'm not doing anything. Um, and that lit a fire under, uh, under one of them. And uh, luckily they did make the team and they're enjoying that activity. So parents, kids, uh, one one sport and, and one uh, club or activity. And that's for the year. It doesn't have to be three, you know, three seasons. Um, but we do encourage you to get involved. Even if it's coming down and, and saying the pledge, even if it's coming down to to volunteer. We've had kids step up and be uh, uh, tour guides for our people, uh, our interview candidates. So there's a lot to get involved with. And uh, that's just, we see kids that are involved do better at school. So I will stop talking. I know brevity is not my, my strong point. Uh, quick commercial. We are going to do a seventh grade uh, informational night uh, just for seventh graders. 
And then Ms. Cook and I are also going to do something just about our AIS program, our academic intervention uh, program, and uh, uh, kids receiving extra supports in some different areas. We'll do an informational night on that. Ms. Cook, before we hit uh, stop recording, anything else you wanted to add? Um, no, I think it's good. I, I did think about uh, we have, I believe it's April 20th. Third, they are coming out with, it's almost like how Preserving Port Jervis used to be. I forget the new name of it, but we're um, meeting up at Save A Lot. It's not the school. It's something that's happening in the community to kind of clean up and pick up Port Jervis. So that's something that's going to start to be advertised in the school as well. Um, and that's going to happen on Saturdays, I believe. Um, and with that, there's also, there's like an art component. Um where businesses are, are gonna, and we're having Miss Penny, our, our teacher kind of look into this as well. Businesses are gonna accept art projects that are kind of eco-friendly and they're gonna hang them yes. in their establishment. So just kids be on the lookout. We're gonna start some announcements on that. Um, but it's also, it's a great opportunity for community service and different things. Um, we've started Passport for Good. If you haven't heard about that yet, you can come, come talk to us about recording your community service, um, which is really great for you eighth graders going into ninth grade to keep kind of on your resume. Bam. I'm going to hit stop recording. If you watch this on recording, thank you uh, very much. And uh, we will have some open uh, Q&A here uh, on